Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? It's your boy ZT Speed back at it again with some Diablo Immortal content. And today we will be talking about the best PvP build for Demon Hunter. So, as you can see, I am currently top 10 in the battlegrounds. We did just currently have a rotation of Immortals, so everyone is a, a lot lower than normal. And I did finish top 10 as well in the last season. Today I'm going to show you the build that I'm currently running but also the other options that I think are very strong and viable choices. So currently I'm actually ru running the three vengeance abilities just to maximize my damage. I really do like the extended duration the helm gives, but I also do highly recommend using this for the daring swing. This is honestly probably better for mo most of demon hunters. I just like the extra duration to do more damage personally the murder most i tested also and for pvp it's not very strong you just get way too weak and people kill you so quick in like a right of exile situation it's strong but in just regular bgs it's tough to use very strong for pve though i also run heart of vengeance which gives me vengeance cooldown i run ruinous path which is which also increases my damage for vengeance which i I, to, I suggest that these two you run the same just to increase your overall damage with vengeance because vengeance is such a strong demon hunter of ability for this i picked the hail fire which gives me two homing rockets and i really like this for pve but for pvp what's nice with this is when i use the multi-shot ability against people who's guardian tree rocked against me the cheat death ability when i use this the homing rockets take like an extra second or two to actually hit them so it gives me an extra 3000 like instant damage while i'm also shooting them as they come straight out of that it basically makes it easier to kill them faster right after their cheat death procs but another great legendary that i suggest using is empowering the daring swing to have chills this is really strong because you can, if you're ever in a 1v1 or 2v1 situation, you just swing right over them, you chill them, and then you have a lot more mobility and opportunity to get away or do damage before they can do anything back. For the crossbow, I suggest using the flame spite, very strong uh, damage over time. And for the hunger, I suggest using the crossbow shot, especially if you're gonna empower it because you can increase the crossbow shot by 10% damage. For the offhand, you can also try out the Chakram with the Shredder Vein, and that's a pretty strong combination. I suggest trying it out. Now I'm going to go quickly over and show you guys what my Reforge rules, which Reforge rules I picked. So we see I have all skill damage, primary attack damage. Here we have critical hit damage, primary attack damage. Primary attack damage, critical hit damage. Attack speed increase, primary attack damage. Critical hit damage, primary attack damage. And all skill damage increased and primary attack damage. So you can see that I'm definitely focusing on primary attack damage. And when I can, I do also get the primary attack speed. Um, in a perfect world, I think all my rolls would be attack speed and primary attack damage. But right now I'm happy with the other critical hit damage and whatnot for when i'm with satyrs and i do get a critical hit i also just want to quickly show my the gems i'm using which is a howler's call super strong for demon hunters echoing shade also another super strong legendary gem seeping bile great for every class zwensins i'm using for resonance and it's also not that bad on demon hunter bottled hope for the movement speed and cooldown reduction and I'm using Carson's and I'm running the Carson to awaken the hunger. In a perfect world, I'd have like an awakened blood soaked jade, but I'm working on it, I guess you could say. One thing to note too, is I really like synergizing Carson's with Howlers and Echoing because the more primary attacks I get, the quicker I get to proc the Echoing Shade and Howlers Wolves. For the set pieces, I would suggest any combination of Vithus with Shaw Boss. I'm currently going for a four piece set of Vithus and then two piece set of Shaw Boss. But Vithus is so good because even just the two piece set extends the duration of Vengeance by 
which is huge. And then it increases primary attack speed by 30% every time you use a buff, including the smoke bomb, or anytime another person with Vithus. But yeah, between Vithus and Shawl Boss, you can't go wrong. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, all the likes, all the subs, all the comments, I appreciate it. Come through for the streams, twitch.tv slash zt2 underscore speed. Yeah, we have fun over there. It's lit. It's a party. We stream rights. We stream dailies. We do all that funny business over there. So go check it out.